have an inventory. Do I? No. Oh, okay. What? No. Stop. Stop. No! Hello? Hey. How's it going? Ah, I see you found the moldy milk sign. Getting some more merch. If y'all wanted a video, you could have just like not just snuck into my room and uh, like just started staring at my my sign. You could have just asked. That's also something you could have done. Well, I mean, since you're here, we might as well play something. So let's do it. Hi, what's going on, guys? It's your favorite mold here, Moldy Milk, and today we are playing After the Curtain Call. This was made by the same developer that made a craft of mine, the Minecraft horror game that we played a few episodes back. He requested that I play this game. I was very happy to report that the Minecraft horror game that he made was very good. He says he's working on a sequel to this game, so I'm excited to play it. I'm sure you guys are excited to watch, so without further ado, let's get into it, baby. Act 1. Life is a dream. Illuminate the actor. The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that fails. What happens if I take the light off of them? Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. Deep. That's deep. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound with chains. And I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? A tale that is told. What is life of frenzy extreme? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small. That all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. And what is a dream but the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life of another? That is only lived in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play Why don't you understand? It is nothing. Your part. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Why did you come? Play we have nothing to give you. Play we are just actors part. following Play a script. Your Play your part. Bro, I, okay, you don't gotta yell at me. What you? What, what are you talking about? Who's golf clapping? I that is so passive aggressive. Oh. It's, it's a dream. What? Bro, this game is tackling some weird okay. topics. You, you're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I I need you to do us a favor. Go go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it. Please, it's really important. We're depending on you. Say less. You depending on me? I got you. I got you. Don't worry. All right. Nice little theater. Nice little theater. It's pretty little, actually. Uh, when I was younger, I actually did plays. Well, one play. I did one play. And the theater basically was that size, but it had another row. It had um, nosebleeds, I think they're called. I don't know. I never got why they were called nosebleeds, but... This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionates. They are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theater. The Lewises. Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn. Th th that is if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today, us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I... I'm... I'm getting nervous. I, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Yeah, bro. 
Let's. Um, oh, also, I am getting extremely busy. I'm sure that you have noticed the... Can I explain to my audience what's going on, please? Thank you. Um, I have been uploading less. That is because I am trying to edit my videos the same way I have always been. And I don't have the time for that. So, I'm gonna keep uploading. I wanna keep uploading. I'm gonna keep uploading. I'm going to. But, I also need to maintain sanity and time. So, I am going to record and then edit a little bit, but not as much as I have been. But hopefully, if I, I wanna, I, my dream is to be a big YouTuber. Don't laugh at me, is, is, you know what? It does my thing. It's okay. I know a million other people behind me want to do it too, but now it's my turn. I want to do it. And I don't even need to be like big for me. That's a thousand subscribers, baby. That's a, that's a thousand subscribers. A hundred thousand, that's fine. You have, you can have that. You can have that. If I get there, I get there. But a thousand subscribers, that's a lot of people, baby. So if y'all like the content, subscribe. And if you don't mind dealing with a like a little bit of quality like decrease as far as the abundance of memes, then you're a real one. And then the quality will go back up again. Maybe even be better if this ever becomes a full-time job. I'm just saying. Just saying, bro. Alright. So far, the voice acting has been not only top-notch, but a lot of it. But I think this I'm going to need to read. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said when the Roman Empire began, Alexius was the best warrior from the abilities he had, o he had only learnt by watching others fight. He died during a battle and it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wound. And it is known for a fact he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost in time. So that's one of five entries it looked like. So I'm sure I'm supposed to press or click on that. This is the stage. Here's the uh, the other book, a mystical and horror horrorful Lovecraftian tale about a kid who misled by his oh by a kid who misled by his grandfather's in indications awakes an elder being while oh an elder being while making a snowman, a Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. Yeah, what's it called? Our very white Christmas. All right, uh, I'm gonna pick this up, and things are about to start going down. Can I turn this on? No. Can I open that? No. The radio isn't working. Fix the sounds. Main electricity source. Huh. All right then. Um, I need to find the electricity source. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go to find that, but I'll do it if I can figure it out. Is it back here? No. Search for the key and access the electricity sources. Uh, decoration? No. I like this guy's art style too. And I like the fact that his games run so good. So good. I'm at like 144p right now. I'm stuck. Okay, I can't go that way. Employees only. I'm an employee, yo. Oh, wait, this is like, oh, but I need to find the key. I need to find the key. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I don't have an inventory, do I? No. Okay, what? It's not, okay. Don't even look at me like that. I know it's not that scary, but it's like, I'm not expecting it, okay? It just was there. I'm always also like, I'm like typically talking. Like, unless. There's music or like something crazy going on. I'm talking. So when I get jump scared, whatever I am saying becomes, oh, so uh, uh, don't even at me, bruh. What is this? Mechanics? That's pretty cool. I felt like I was doing an Among Us tack. Uh, what? Just shut up. You can't speak English. This book narrates the life of Luncheon? Luncheon? This book narrates the life of Luncheon, 
a mythological creature living in an old Philippine forest in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of narrative fantasy. Luncheon seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. I don't know if it's Loon, Looney, Luntian or Luncheon, but uh, that's how we're pronouncing it, so fight me. Uh, so, boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait. So do I have to get all of them? I can't just... Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Boom. No? Oh! Boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Oh, I can shut the door behind me? Let's go. I'm so I got the hiccups. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything to have the whole gold sign theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but has rooms everywhere and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. Hmm. The Kraken. Here lies the Kraken. This piece tells the story of the Mayans, who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded, since they didn't reach the sun. They instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations, which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. I found four of them so far, Chief. Ooh, there's the key. Okay, sick. Now we go to the electricity room. Come around the corner. All right, all right. No cracking down there this time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. This room. Ah, this guy. What? Who is Who makes this game? I forgot his name. Dang it. He likes darkness. He likes to keep it dark, bruh. I like to keep it dark, bruh. The English is a little broken, but I'll fill in the gaps. The classic story of the Pied Piper of Hamlin. However, in this book in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but that the flute summoned some creature, which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls this creature Schlaggeist. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? All right. So, bonk, and then yonk, and then bonk, and then yonk, bonk. What? I didn't, I didn't, I missed the jump scare because I, I went up on the mouse, dang it. Alright, now I gotta turn the radio on. I don't know what kind of Kraken is up in this junk, but I'm about to get eaten. Come on, and hit the button. And come on. tell me to hide and then like wait oh wait I was supposed to get caught oh I 
thought it was over. Okay, okay. <gasps> More? Okay. I'm getting spoiled here. So bonk, bonk, donk, shonk, long. Oh, what? What? Oh, I'm hitting the wire. Oh. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Boom. 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 Boom, boom. Got him. I guess I'm jumping down. Am I still alive? Oh. I'm still alive. That's a win, baby. Let's go. Oh, you also can't sprint in these games. Dang it. Ooh. Ooh. Clenched. I am clenched up right now. What do you mean by that? Ooh, please. Please. Ah. Please. No. Stop. Stop. No! I knew I was going to do that, did Ah. Thanks for playing. You just completed After the Curtain Call Act 1, Life is a Dream. Did you find all the books to play the uh, uh, entremies, extra content? And did you find the Act 2 Wink Easter Egg? Support and share the game for Act 2. You guys play it. You guys tell your friends. I want Act 2. I don't know if I got entremies, but that's all the time I got for today. So I can't go look around for it. But that was sick. Sir Tartarus. Sir Tartarus. You have made a banger game two times in a row now. I have, I see you. I have very high hopes for your next game, for the act two of this game. All right, guys, that's gonna do for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please strongly consider smashing that subscribe button, gently clicking that like button. And as always, stay moldy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>